Hi Don, welcome back to East End Park. Are you a happy boy? Oh, delighted to be here. Um, it's just it's kind of it's been a lot. Kind of try to get done a few times. Um, I think this is the third time I've actually tried to sign here. So just delighted to to do get it done. You still had a year left on your Kilmarnock contract as well. Yeah, I still had a year left at Kilmarnock, but um, kind of I, I knew them fell and were kind of interested and. I think I, I sat down and I had a long time to think about it during lockdown and I think the, the time was just right for me to, to go out and, and be a big part of a, a big club and really kick on in my career and, and play every week and I, I know coming here that I'll get the chance to do that and work under obviously the manager and Shieldsy and Dan, it's, it's something that I couldn't really knock back. The season was curtailed obviously as we all know, um, but before that you were playing really well and you know it was looking up. Uh, the end of the season, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was great, obviously, coming here in January and then the, the, the season got cut short. It, what, the strangest thing that's probably ever happened, but um, I, I think we were a few points off the playoffs and personally I thought that if the season had continued we would have got in there and would have been great, but you just never know in football and I think personally I was really enjoying it and performing well, so I think all round it, it did, it came at a bad time. You have mentioned previously, or you just mentioned off camera there about the signings we made last week as well. It's an exciting time, it looks like we're putting a good squad together. Yeah, no, it's great. I always, always keep an eye on Fairman and it came up in the Twitter feed that they'd signed um, Paul Watson and Stephen Wicker, two well known, experienced players and two really good players. So I think that would be great for the squad on and off the pitch. So hopefully a few more of them to follow and as you said we are, we're building a really good squad and it's just great to be part of it. You were the last person I interviewed before lockdown, not that I'm blaming you for a global <laughs> pandemic but um, what, what did you do to keep yourself active during the three months? Four months I, I really was, it was, it was boring and for me personally I'm usually out and about and, and doing things and been locked up for, for three months, it, it wasn't the ideal but kept myself busy, kind of just keeping fit and, and stuff like that and kind of things that I'd never really done before, Zoom calls and, and all that, just kind of passed the time and kept you entertained really, but it was a difficult time, but I'm glad we're kind of at the end of it now. What's it like for a, a football player in terms of, you know, you're obviously wanting a deal to happen, it's now been signed as a, a relief, as a weight off your shoulders, how's it feel? It is great, um, obviously Dunfermline were, were great, we kind of saw them all out for me, which kind of it took, took the stress off it for me and um, they kind of dealt with everything, but as you said, you, you still think, is it going to get done, is it not going to get done, what's happening? And um, it's just, as you say, it's great to just sign in, in a dotted line and, and that show you know your, where your future is and you can just look forward to the football getting back. Aye, well, and on that note, it's October the 17th for the Championship, it looks like the Bedford Cup will be a wee bit before that, so at least we've got in our mind something to look forward to and work towards. No, definitely. Obviously, I think everybody's just been missing the football, the, the fans, the players, the, the staff, everybody. But I think we'll, we'll come in and we'll get a good pre-season and, and be ready for, for the season starting and, and hopefully it's, a, it's another good season for us.